Arsenal Fan TV, what do you make of the red card today? I think motorcycle doesn't need to go down. It's a dive as well, but it's like on both sides, it's wrong. Like he's too slow. He had a chance when the ball first dropped. I think he had a chance to get instead of trying to run with him. And then once he's got away from him, he's gone in for the tackle and it's not needed. So he should have just left for, him. For you, for you, what do, what do you make of Murta Saka? Because he's a guy that divides opinion. There's fans that say, listen, he's an experienced guy. There's other fans that say, listen, he's just too slow for the Premier League. What, 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 what's your opinion? Do you remember when we played when Brazil and Chile played here? Mm. I said to you from then, Gabriel needs to be the main man in the defence. He's proved every time he comes into the team that he's good enough to play in, this, in the squad. He doesn't make as many mistakes as Mertesacker, like people have been saying, the game against Bournemouth, he had a good match. So play him. And now, in a way, this is like a silver lining that Mertesacker's out for a few games because now he's going to get a run in the team and he's not going to... I don't, I don't think Wenger's going to be able to just drop him once Mertesacker's eligible again if he's playing good with Kashani. So. That's, a, that's one positive I can take from that, is that Gabriel's now going to be definitely starting mm. the next few games. But and what positives, do you, well, it's, it's very difficult to take any positives from the yeah. game today, but we are still, you know, think, in the hunt. Yeah, I think we're, we're still in the mix. I think people are getting a bit carried away, a bit emotional, which is understandable, you know, like it's been very frustrating. We should have won this game. Chelsea ain't any good right now. But if you look at those games, the last three games in the season, you scatter them out. You say Liverpool mm. away, Stoke away, Chelsea at home. You're going to expect a few more points, but if someone said two draws and a loss, it's not the end of the world. If you're thinking you're at the top of the table during this period of time, just take, just think of those games in a different space and you think, you know what, these games are understandable games, so drop those points in. That's how I'm looking at it. So I'm not, you know, I'm not saying it's all over. I think we still have a good chance of winning the title. Unlike the last time we were in a title race, when we lost Ramsey and lost Ozil, two of our best players in that season, we've now got our best players coming back. And we also went through a period without our best players and was able to maintain ourselves at the top of the table. So I think we're still in the mix. I think um, it's been a shit game today. I don't think the team turned up until the last 10 minutes, really, when we were really going for it. And then we needed to have the killer instinct to finish the game or get, get something out of the game. But that's how it is, man. It's, mm. like, it's not all over. We're still in it. It's, he, he does it every year. And every, I hear Mo over there saying, Oh, Tottenham are not, not contenders. I, t I tell you what, they're, they're more better organised than what we are at the fucking moment, that's for sure.